Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've just woken up and I'm ready to test out the Tweety Pie. I'm so tired, it is the weekend, it's half seven, and you know what, I'm not getting any more sleep, so I might as well film this video. So in the last two videos, you'll see that I've done review palettes on the Looney Tunes I Heart Revolution Club. I've done the Sylvester palette, and I've also done, what was the other one? <laughs> I'm too tired for this. Bugs Bunny. I'm most looking forward to these shades. These just scream summer to me. Gonna play some pinks, a bit of yellow in there. We've got some gold shimmers. So yeah, we're gonna see what look I come out with and if the palette works a lot better than the Sylvester and the Bugs Bunny. Sylvester's in the lead, only because I'm drawn to those colours more, but these ones I'm really drawn to. But yeah, I'm just going to do a quick eye tutorial today. I'm going to use the Lola palette as well and the lip oil as usual. Don't forget to hit subscribe and let's go. I'm just going to do a bit of skincare dead quick. I'm going to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturiser. I should have put this on first, but I'm just going to quickly go in the Revolution Under Eye Rehab Serum. And of course, I'm going to go in my Bugs Bunny lip oil again. These lip oils are so good. They smell amazing and they feel amazing too. But yeah, the ball works on it really good. It doesn't get stuck or anything. You know, sometimes the ball, there's no friction there, but this one, it's got plenty of friction. And my lips definitely needed it. So let's get on to this really cute palette. So this is Tweety Pie. If you haven't seen my first video, here's a close-up shot. Love these colours. I just can't get enough of those. I'm going to prime my eyes first. I'm going to use the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I've been using this a lot for the past two videos. I'm just going to buff that out with a Real Techniques brush. I'm going to go in the shade Sweet today. I'm going to put that right in the crease. I'm just going to take my Studio London brush. I think these are from Superdrug. Love this pink moment. Hot pink. I think I might do a pot crease today. Loving this pink, it's giving me Barbie vibes already. I am gonna blend that out a bit. This is the Peaches and Cream number 10 brush. It has a bit of pink on it already, so I'm just gonna fluff it out a bit. And then I'm going to blend this sweet pink shade with the shade Granny. I should have done a palette for granny <laughs> and that would have been so cool so i'm gonna put granny just slightly on top where the sweet shade stops i'm just gonna take another fluffy brush this is the jeffree star js9 and i'm gonna use the escape shade just to buff it even further this will just uh smooth out the edges more For my cut crease, I'm going to use the P. Louise base. This is in the shade Room 02. And then I'm going to get a flat brush. This is the Peaches and Cream PC 52. And I'm just going to carve it out. This makes me want the P. Louise cut carver. Now I'm going to fill in the spaces. So I'm going to start off with the shade Bird and I'm going to put this on the inner corner. Just like that and then I'm going to add a shimmer. So what shimmer should I add? I think I have to... So the shimmer I need to go in for definitely is this one, Adventure. I have swatched this before, by the way. I haven't tried it, I only swatched it. And this one will look really pretty. Just into that gap, I'd say. And then we've got Sing, which can make a really nice inner corner highlight, but you could also put that on the lid too. Our final shimmer is this one, but I wanna go with gold. So I'm just gonna use my finger for this. And then I'll use a brush at the edge. The shimmer is super pretty. It looks very foily. Like I'm so impressed with these shimmers. Really outdone themselves with this collection, honestly. So I'm just gonna go on the edge a bit. 
with the sweet shade. I'm just gonna tap over where that adventure shimmer shade stops. Just kind of like mesh the two shades together. So we're gonna do it in a corner highlight, so I have to go into sing. I'm just gonna spray it with the iHot Revolution Cranberry Spray. This came in that gift set. What a Christmas gift set. Who is looking forward to the Christmas gift set this year, especially from iHeart Revolution? I cannot wait. So I'm gonna put this right in there, in the corner. Wow, that is bright. Love, 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 love. So I'm just gonna go in the lower lash line now. I'm gonna use the same shades what we used. The eye. I brought some new brushes recently from TikTok shop. Oh, who else is obsessed with TikTok shop, honestly? Um, I brought some P. Louise brushes, a full set, so I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I just haven't brought any eye, like a full set of eye brushes in a while. I'm also going to take this bird shade and just follow it down to the lower lash line. I'm going to go in one of Dr. Susie's eye crayon set. I might go with this. This is the Oh, the places you'll go. I don't think this is going to make such of a difference. Does make a difference? And then I'm going to use this, same again, Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish eye crayon, which is more of a, a yellow toned. I'm going to try and put that in the inner corner. I hate doing this. It just feels uncomfortable. But yeah, that's made a bit, bit of a difference. Okay, so here's the look so far. I'm going to quickly go off camera, put on the rest of my makeup. I'll show you guys what I'll wear at the end and we can showcase the Lola highlighter again, which is this one. So the rest of my base is on. I'm going to go in the Lola highlighter and I'm going to use, I might use a mixture of Sweetie Pie and Sassy, but mostly the Sassy shade. going in my favourites. I think most of the stuff is going in my always favourites. Okay, I'm going to try put some lashes on. I'm going to see if these look okay. These are the Primer Lash D10. God, if anyone's got any advice for putting lashes on. So guys, here is the completed look using the Tweety Pie palette. This palette. Where is it? I've lost the palette. This palette is beautiful. Um, it's up there with the Sylvester. But I just, I'm just biased with these type of shades. I just love them. Um, I just feel me in them. But yeah, that gold shimmer is beautiful. So if you're wondering what's on my face, I've got the e.l.f. primer on again. This is by I Heart Revolution. This is on sale at the minute. I think it's like three or four pounds on ASOS or the actual Revolution website. So if you want to pick it up, it's on the cheap. I'm wearing the Catrice Cosmetics Foundation. I've got in the shade Neutral Sand. Love this. And then concealer, I'm wearing the L'Oreal More Than Concealer shade Cashmere. And liquid bronzer, same again as yesterday. This is the Made by Mitchell liquid blusher blush in the shady business shade. And then I've got my Tasty Watermelon liquid blush shade pop. And then I set that down with the Benefit Dandelion blush. I don't think I've showed this on my channel yet. I really like the look of the butterfly one, that new blush. And then for my brows, I went in a bit with the Lottie London Arch Rival Brow Powder. And then I used the Benefit precisely my brow pencil a bit just to define my brows shade 3.5. Set that down with the Pink Honey Honey Glue Super Hold. And then for my lips, I like my lips today. Um, so I'm wearing the Essence Stay Lip Liner shade Curious, I think it is. Really like this. A good good one and then i use the milani fetish lipstick in the shade pleasure which is so nice 
And then for my lashes, I, really, I think I already told you. Yeah, the Pro Dainty Lash shade, shade, shape, D10. I did set it as well with the new Revolution Concealer Define Infinite Mini Spray. They do have a bigger version of this, but they've really just brought out the mini. Lastly, but not least, in my next video, I'll be testing out Taz, which is more cool toned, which I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be very sultry, this palette is. I feel satisfied now. I've had my makeup fixed for this month, and yeah, this collection is definitely the highlight for the favourites. Watch out for the August favourites. Before I go, if you did like it, do give a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on Taz's Paz, then Paz? Taz's Paz. If you don't want to miss out on Taz's palette, then make sure you hit subscribe. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.